The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, is an expendable medium lift launch vehicle designed and operated by the Indian Space Research Organisation It was developed to allow India to launch its Indian Remote Sensing satellites into sun-synchronous orbits, a service that was, until the advent of the PSLV in 1993, commercially available only from Russia. PSLV can also launch small-size satellites into Geostationary Transfer Orbit GTO. .Some notable payloads launched by PSLV include India's first lunar probe CHANDRAYAAN-1, India's first interplanetary mission, Mars Orbiter Mission and India's first space observatory, AstroSat. PSLV has gained credence as a small satellite launcher due its numerous multi-satellite deployment campaigns with auxiliary payloads usually ride-sharing along an Indian primary payload. Most notable among these was the launch of PSLV C-37 on 15 February 2017 successfully deploying 104 satellites in sun-synchronous orbit, tripling the previous record held by Russia for most number of satellites sent to space on a single launch. Payloads can be integrated in tandem configuration employing a dual launch adapter. Smaller payloads are also placed on equipment deck and customized payload adapters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. Studies to develop a vehicle capable of delivering 600 kg payload to 550 km sun synchronous orbit from Shah began in 1978. Among 35 proposed configurations, four were picked and by November 1980, a vehicle configuration with two strap-ons on a core booster S80 with 80-ton solid propellant loading each, a liquid stage with 30-ton propellant load L30, and an upper stage called Perigee Apogee System was being considered. By 1981, confidence grew in remote sensing spacecraft development with launch of BHASKARA-1 and the PSLV project objectives were upgraded to have vehicle deliver 1,000 kg payload in 900 km SSO. As technology transfer of Viking rocket engine firmed up, a new lighter configuration shifting away from relying on three large solid boosters was proposed by team led by APJ Abdul Kalam and eventually selected. Funding was approved in July 1982 for finalized design employing a single large S-125 solid core as first stage with six 9-ton strap-ons derived from SLV-3 first stage, liquid-fueled second stage and two solid upper stages S-7 and S-2. This configuration needed further improvement to meet the orbital injection accuracy requirements of IRS satellites and hence solid terminal stage S2 was replaced with a pressure-fed liquid-fueled stage L1.8 or LUS powered by twin engines derived from roll control engines of first stage. Apart from increasing precision, liquid upper stage also absorbed any deviation in performance of solid third stage. Final configuration of PSLV D1 to fly in 1993 was 6 times S9 plus S125 plus L37.5 plus S7 plus L2. The inertial navigation systems are developed by ISRO Inertial Systems Unit at Tiruvananthapuram. The liquid propulsion stages for the second and fourth stages of PSLV as well as the Reaction Control Systems RCS are developed by the Liquid Propulsion Systems Center LPSC at Mahendragiri near Tirunal Veli, Tamil Nadu. The solid propellant motors are processed at Satish Dewan Space Center at Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh which also carries out launch operations. 
The PSLV was first launched on 20 September 1993. The first and second stages performed as expected, but an attitude control problem led to the collision of the second and third stages at separation, and the payload failed to reach orbit. After this initial setback, the PSLV successfully completed its second mission in 1994. The fourth launch of PSLV suffered a partial failure in 1997, leaving its payload in a lower than planned orbit. By November 2014 the PSLV had launched 34 times with no further failures. Although launch 41, August 2017 PSLV C-39 was unsuccessful. PSLV continues to support Indian and foreign satellite launches especially for low Earth orbit satellites. It has undergone several improvements with each subsequent version, especially those involving thrust, efficiency as well as weight. In November 2013, it was used to launch the Mars Orbiter mission, India's first interplanetary probe. ISRO is planning to privatize the operations of PSLV and will work through a joint venture with private industries. The integration and launch will be managed an industrial consortium through Antrix Corporation. In June 2018, the Union Cabinet approved 6,131 crore rupees $850 million for 30 operational flights of the PSLV scheduled to take place between 2019 and 2024. Topic vehicle description The PSLV has four stages using solid and liquid propulsion systems alternately. The first stage, one of the largest solid rocket boosters in the world, carries 138 t tons of hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene bound HTPB propellant and develops a maximum thrust of about 4,800 kN 1,100,000 lbf. The 2.8 meters (9 feet 2 in) diameter motor case is made of marriaging steel and has an empty mass of 30,200 kilograms (66,600 pounds). Pitch and yaw control during first stage flight is provided by the secondary injection thrust vector control system SITVC, which injects an aqueous solution of strontium perchlorate into the nozzle to produce asymmetric thrust. The solution is stored in two cylindrical aluminium tanks strapped to the solid rocket motor and pressurized with nitrogen. Roll control is provided by two small liquid engines on opposite sides of the stage, the Roll Control Thrusters On the PSLV and PSLV XL, first stage thrust is augmented by six strap-on solid boosters. Four boosters are ground lit and the remaining two ignite 25 seconds after launch. The solid boosters carry 9T pounds or 12T pounds for PSLV XL configuration propellant and produce 510 kN and 719 kN thrust respectively. Two strap-on boosters are equipped with SITVC for additional attitude control. The PSLVCA uses no strap-on boosters. The second stage employs the Vickers engine and carries 41.5 t pounds of liquid propellant, unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine (UDMH) as fuel and nitrogen tetroxide (N2O4) as oxidizer. It generates a maximum thrust of 800 kN (180,000 lbf). The engine is hydraulically jimbled plus or minus 4 degrees to provide pitch and yaw control, while roll control is provided by two hot gas reaction control motors. 
The third stage uses 7T pounds of hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene based solid propellant and produces a maximum thrust of 240 kN. It has a Kevlar polyamide fiber case and a submerged nozzle equipped with a flex bearing seal gimbaled nozzle plus or minus 2 degrees thrust vector engine for pitch and yaw control. Roll control is provided by the fourth stage reaction control system RCS. The fourth stage is powered by regeneratively cooled twin engines, burning monomethyl hydrazine MMH and mixed oxides of nitrogen MON. Each engine generates 7.4 kN lbf thrust and is gimbaled plus or minus 3 degrees to provide pitch, yaw and roll control during powered flight. Coast phase attitude control is provided by RCS. The stage carries up to 2,500 kg 5, of propellant in the PSLV and PSLV XL and 2,100 kg 4, in the PSLV CA. PSLV is developed with a group of wide range control units. Variants <laughs> 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 ISRO has envisaged a number of variants of PSLV to cater to different mission requirements. There are currently two operational versions of the PSLV the core alone PSLV -CA without any strap on motors, and the PSLV -XL version, with six extended length XL strap on motors carrying 12 tons of HTPB based propellant each. These configurations provide wide variations in payload capabilities up to 3,800 kg 8,400 lb in LEO and 1,800 kg 4,000 lb in sun-synchronous orbit. PSLV-G The standard or generic version of the PSLV, PSLV-G had four stages using solid and liquid propulsion systems alternately and six strap-on motors PSOM or S9 with nine-ton propellant loading. It had capability to launch 1,678 kg to 622 km miles into sun-synchronous orbit. PSLV C-35 was last operational launch of PSLV-G before its discontinuation. topic PSLVCA The PSLVCA CA meaning core alone model premiered on the 23rd of April 2007 The CA model does not include the six strap on boosters used by the PSLV standard variant but two SITVC tanks with roll control thruster modules are still attached to the side of the first stage with addition of two cylindrical aerodynamic stabilizers. The fourth stage of the CA variant has 400 kg pounds less propellant when compared to its standard version. It currently has capability to launch 1,100 kg to 622 km miles sun-synchronous orbit. PSLV-XL PSLV XL is the upgraded version of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle in its standard configuration, boosted by more powerful, stretched strap on boosters with 12 ton propellant load. 
weighing 320 t pounds at lift off the vehicle uses larger strap on motors PSOMXL or S12 to achieve higher payload capability on the 29th of December 2005 ISRO successfully tested the improved version of strap on booster for the PSLV the first use of PSLVXL was the launch of CHANDRAYAAN 1 by PSLV C11. The payload capability for this variant is 1,800 kg to SSO. PSLVDL PSLVDL variant has only two strap-ons boosters with 12-ton propellant load on them. PSLV C44 on the 24th of January 2019 was the first flight to use PSLVDL variant of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Topic: <laughs> PSLVQL PSLVQL variant has four ground lit strap on boosters with a combined propellant load of 48 tons. PSLV C45 on the 1st of April 2019 was the first flight of PSLVQL. Topic: <laughs> PSLV3S concept. PSLV-3S was conceived as a three-staged version of PSLV with its six strap-on boosters and second liquid stage removed. The total lift-off mass of PSLV-3S was expected to be 175 tons with capacity to place 500 kg in 550 km low Earth orbit. Topic. Launch history As of April 2019 the PSLV has made 47 launches, with 44 successfully reaching their planned orbits, two outright failures and one partial failure, yielding a success rate of 94% or 96% including the partial failure. All launches have occurred from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, known before 2002 as the Sriharikota Range <laughs> <laughs> See also Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle MK3 Comparison of orbital launches families Medium lift launch vehicle, 2000 to 20,000 kg to LEO Comparison of orbital rocket engines Comparison of orbital launch systems <laughs>